Good morning, Deb Helfrich, hashtag redheaded she-hawk. Today's version of hashtag Occupy CMU, we start, as I get my location correct, that is Mr. Rogers' factual neighborhood. Yes, indeed, the campus of Carnegie Mellon is in between Mr. Rogers' home and WQED S. Two city blocks away, although it's nothing but greenery here on campus. Now, what this is about, hashtag Occupy CMU, is a philosophical protest of plantation capitalism. This is about the fact that you can live to be 52 in America and be dead destitute and have absolutely no one, absolutely no one, over hundreds and hundreds of attempts, help you earn a living. You all know how difficult recruiting is. You can't get through anywhere. Is what has happened with the hyper digitalization and the dumb phoneness of the way the world works these days? Anyone who's a rare bird, anyone who's doing something different, anyone with a degree in philosophy, you're never gonna get found. You're never gonna get found. So I spent five solid years trying to build a business. Guess what? Didn't work. Didn't work because there's no people in my life. There's no way I could go viral without doing something like this. But this is actually a much better version of anything I could do. As rambling and as improv as this may be, talking about the state of this world. And here I can go. Let me see again. Am I a good director or not? Sun is in my eyes, but I believe right over the top of the window of this van, yep, there's the Cathedral of Learning, the world's tallest educational building. We used to have values as a society, as a civilization, that weren't based on this gross, gross love of entrepreneurship. Come on, how are we ever gonna fix the world and build a civilization that exists for all 7.8 billion humans across every nook and cranny of earth if we only have things that are searchable by one keyword on Google if we only let billionaires go off into space there has to be some part of society that works for the better greater good that's why it is a damn shame philosophies went extinct. I am here to occupy CMU, to do a protest, a philosophical protest, a peaceful, playful, profound, philosophical protest to drive in instead of sit in on my campus. Because I've been seven weeks living in my car, working on finding one professor at Carnegie Mellon to give me a job. That shouldn't be hard. This is my alma mater. I still have my ID with the stamp of summer 1991, 30 years ago. I belong here. It's the only place I belong. No family, no friends, no job prospects. This is it. But this is the perfect place for me to learn new skills as a stand-up philosopher, to learn how to build an artistic career at the intersection of being really, really, really philosophically inventive about human health. You might actually say I'm the she Sherlock of human energy, potential, and well-being. That's what this is. This is a human who should be in tears, who should be leaning on charity systems that are far past the capacity to support any new people. But instead I'm saying, you know, I got a good brain. I got a lot of things going for me. I need to not get in a system that's designed to really treat humans like failures. I need to be in my success. And so here I am doing what Mr. Rogers would support me doing. I'm telling you what, he'd have let me drive my trooper into his little neighborhood anytime I wanted.
All right, y'all. This has been Deb Helfrich, hashtag redheaded she hawk doing the morning version of June 15th, 2021, hashtag Occupy CMU. I'm a little bit salty. That's what I am. Because here's the thing. Trooper Central is right here in this lovely, as you can see, nearly empty parking lot. Where I want to be is back between CFA and the library so I can start building posters, hashtag Occupy CMU, have passers-by, students and professors come and have Socratic dialogues. Now, I'm less salty. You know why? Because the sun's not blaring in my face, that's why. So, here's the deal. I called Media Relations, I called the main operator asked for who I should talk to to get a permit to film on campus. Um, parking's on my side, security, police, they're, they're not having any trouble with me doing anything. They just need somebody to tell them, yeah, she can pull into this place completely out of traffic. There are no students on campus. There are no professors. There are no administration people. That's why I'm taking so long. I mean, again, it's kind of funny when I tell people it's taken this long, they're all like tutoring me on how to speak, tutoring me on how to approach things. Come on, it's work from home. It's the fact that everyone has thousands of emails. Learning to be a director in cell phone movies, quite, quite, quite a challenge. I don't know, we just have to go more this way, but I'm pretty much done because I've been told you got to make things a lot, 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 lot briefer. So there we go. Zanzi's alarming. Harmony.